Scary Sand Journal by Gary Griggs, Catherine Halverson, and Craig Strange. Observing Sand. I'm Gary Griggs, a geologist. I collect sand from beaches all over the world. The sand from every beach is different. Take a look at some of the sand I have collected. What can you observe about it? Here's some sand I have collected. Each kind is from a different beach. Let's zoom in on some sand grains. What do we observe now? The closer I observe sand, the more I learn. The more I learn, the more questions I have. Scientists ask many questions. Here are some of my questions about the sand. What is it made of? How did it become sand? How did it get to the beach? I did not observe how the sand became sand, how it got to the beach, or what it was before it became sand. That means I need to use ideas I've learned as a geologist and my own observations to figure out the answers to these questions. My observations include things like color, shape, and size of the sand. Read on to figure out how I use these observations as evidence. I use them to support my ideas about how the sand got to be the way it is. The size of sand. How big is a grain of sand? Sand grains are all small, of course. Still, some sand grains are smaller than others. If you rub sand between your fingers, some feel as fine as sugar. Other sand have bigger grains. The size of sand tells me about the waves that have moved the sand. From looking at the sand, I can visualize what kind of waves have moved the sand. So the picture on the left shows bigger waves in the ocean and the picture on the right shows smaller waves. Big grains of sand are evidence of big waves. Big waves can carry big things. Small grains of sand are evidence of small waves. Small waves only carry small things. Zooming in on sand grains helps you see their shape and color better. This magnifying glass tells you when a sand grain is zoomed in on. And these are the magnifying glasses right here. The shape of sand. I observe the shape of sand. The shape of sand is evidence that supports my ideas about how old the sand is. Some sand grains are rounded. Rounded sand grains have rolled around and crashed together for a long time. I can visualize the sharp corners wearing down as the grains crash against each other. This is old sand. Some sand grains have sharp edges. The grains are not, the grains have not had time to become rounded. This is new sand. The color of sand. Sand can be all different colors. Color is important evidence. It supports my ideas about what the sand is made of. Black sand is often made of lava rock. Hot lava sometimes flows from volcanoes into the ocean. The ocean cools the lava. The lava turns into hard black rock. Waves crash on the lava rock. The rock breaks into smaller pieces and becomes sand. Some, sand, uh, some white sand comes from coral reefs in the ocean. Coral reefs are made of many tiny coral animals stuck together. As the animals die, Waves break off pieces of the coral reef. Those pieces break into sand. Some white sand comes from shells. Clams and other animals with shells live in the water near the beach. After these animals die, waves break their shells into sand. Even shells that start off pink, purple, or blue fade to white over time. Colorful, colorful sand can be made of different types of rocks. This type of sand may come from rocky cliffs near the beach or from mountains. Waves break rocks off the cliffs. Rivers break down rocks in the mountains. The broken rocks crash into each other and make sand. My sand journal. I observed sand from three different beaches. I recorded my observations in a sand journal. I used my observations to figure out what the sand is made of and how old it is. I also figured out where the sand came from and how it got to the beach. I visualized how water broke down different things to make sand and then carried the sand to the beach. Sand one. Question, how did the sand get to be the way it is? In the observation column, he noticed that the sand is small, it has sharp edges, 
and it is mostly black with some white. So the evidence, because it is small, it is probably, it was probably made by smaller waves. Because it has sharp edges, it is probably new sand grains. And because it is mostly black and some white, sand is made of lava rock and shells. My answer and evidence. There may be a volcano near the sandy beach. My evidence is that I found black sand. Black sand usually comes from lava rock. Lava comes from volcanoes. The sand grains are small. This is evidence of small waves. Small waves can only move small things. The sharp sand grains are evidence that this is new sand. It has not been around long enough to become rounded. Lava must have flowed out of a volcano not long ago. I can tell that many animals live in the water near the beach. My evidence is the white grains of sand. White sand grains usually come from the hard parts of dead animals, like shells or bits of coral. Notes. My answer makes sense. I collected the sand in Hawaii, not far from a volcano. I visited the volcano too. I saw lava flow right into the water. Sand too. Question. How did the sand get to be the way it is? So observations, some big and some small grains, it has sharp edges, and it is a mostly white color. This could be evidence of, um, so because th some of them are big and some are small, waves that are sometimes big and sometimes small happen in this area. Because they are sharp edges, it is probably new sand grains. And because it is mostly white, the sand may be made of coral. My answer and evidence. The white color of the sand means it might be made of hard parts of dead coral. This is evidence that a coral reef might be nearby. Some grains are big and some grains are small. That tells me the waves on this beach are sometimes big and sometimes small. I can tell this is new sand from the sharp grains. Notes. There is a coral reef just off the beach where I collected the sand. During storms, big waves crash over the reef and break off big pieces of coral. Sand three. Question, how did the sand get to be the way it is? So some observations. The size is big, the shape is rounded, and the color is green, brown, white, pink, and clear. This could be evidence of, so because the size is big, the waves are probably big at this beach. Because the grains are rounded, they are old sand grains. And because the color is so varied, sand is made up of different kinds of rocks. My answer and evidence. The sand is colorful. This is evidence that it is made of different kinds of rocks. Colorful sand like this often found near rocky cliffs. The big sand grains are evidence of big waves. I can tell the sand grains are old because they are rounded. They have been rolling around and crashing against each other for a long time. Notes. I collected the sand on a beach below tall cliffs. At high tide, the waves come right up to the cliffs. The waves crash against the rocks. The colors of the sand match the colors of the cliff rocks. Mystery sand. You can be a geologist too. Here, are some Here is some beautiful sand. What can you observe about it? Make a table just like the ones I made in my journal. Record your observations in the table. Then think about what your observations can help you figure out. Remember, one, make observations. Two, think about what your observations could be evidence of. What can the size of the sand help you figure out? What can the shape of the sand help you figure out? What can the color of the sand help you figure out? Three, figure out answers using your observations Support your answers with evidence. Learning more about sand. I keep wondering about sand. How about you? Maybe you can find and observe some sand. Then you can use your observations to figure out where the sand came from, how it was made, and how it got to the beach. The glossary. So here are some important words that we have read throughout the book. Evidence. Information that supports an answer to a question. Geologist, 
a scientist who studies the solid part of Earth. Observation, something you notice using any of the five senses. Observe, to use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Record, to draw or write down information. Table, a place to record information using words and numbers, usually inside lines and boxes. Visualize, to make a picture in your mind using information from different sources. Music